Geneva County tonight for quite possibly the story of the day. A woman showed up to emergency room doors at the Wiregrass Medical Center. She's pregnant with twins and friends. It was go time and nothing in life can be more hectic. A situation the hospital hasn't dealt with there though in 25 years. And the medical center doesn't have a labor and delivery department to handle the child birth. Our Jesslyn Adams went out to the hospital to speak with the doctor who came to the rescue. Jess. Hi, I've been in Brianna. 1987, that's the last time Wiregrass Medical Center delivered a baby. Since then, they removed that entire department. So when this woman came to their doors, they had no choice. It was sink or swim. Halloween night, emergency room staff at Wiregrass Medical Center leaped into action to handle a situation they haven't dealt with in many years. We got a call that a woman had come into the emergency room thinking she was ready to deliver. And that was a surprise because this hospital has not delivered a baby in 25 years. It's what CEO Sam Johnson is calling a miracle. The woman was about to deliver twins, and the first one was coming within minutes. Not only was she in labor, but the baby was about to come uh, very quickly. And these babies were high risk, coming seven weeks early. One of the twins breach, calling for immediate surgery. Twins at 33 weeks. It's a dangerous situation. Had that woman delivered outside the hospital, had she delivered uh, in the hospital without a C-section, it could have been a disaster. Dr. John Simmons Jr. had trained to deliver babies while at Texas A&M. And while he had the knowledge to perform a cesarean, he's settling in as a family physician in Geneva and didn't expect to perform a delivery for a long time. I probably delivered a thousand babies while I was uh, in Texas and directed the uh, high risk obstetrical track within the family medicine residency at Texas A&M for the last five years. So I bring a lot of OB experience, but here in this community, uh, we don't do OB. Um, and I don't practice obstetrics here. The medical staff handled the emergency room surprise. We had to get crews ready to take care of the first baby, crews ready to take care of the second baby. We had to get the OR crew in uh, to come in after hours. Uh, it was really all hands on deck. But they don't want anyone else showing up ready to give birth. And Dr. Simmons Sr. actually delivered the last child at Wiregrass Medical Center, like we told you back in 87. So it's pretty neat his son delivered these two twins. The little ones are in the NICU at Pensacola, doing well, but the hospital staff say that can go a while before handling another childbirth. Ben, Brianna. All right, Jess, thank you. And hey, he trained in Texas, so of course he knew how to handle it, right? I'd, I'd imagine that was hectic, though. They say with twins, with a, with a childbirth <sighs> with twins, it's every every hand that's available. That's get, what they said, all hands get on Get in deck. the room, yeah. Wow. All right, well, there's much more to <laughs>